Hello, Dave here. In this video, we're going to place jQuery UI tabs, which are right here, inside a WordPress child feed. So this is what it's going to look like when we complete. Anyway, pretty little tabs here. In order to do this, we need a clean install of WordPress, and I'm calling it Demo Tab Site. Just a clean install here. I have a tab open for the site and a tab open for the dashboard. Again, it's a clean install. Here's our sample. I'll go ahead and get that out of the way. We don't need that anymore. That's what we're going to create. We also need, you know, some kind of uh, editor to make our changes. I'm using Eclipse, and I just have this pointing to my demo tabs site WordPress folder. You see here's WP admin content and includes. We also need jQuery. And you can go to jQuery.com, learn all about it. You can download it, and it also has a CDN uh, connection here or link, and you can I just copy it right out of there. Also, there's the jQuery UI site. Uh, same thing with being able to copy it out of the CDN. What we're going to work with are tabs. So there's this beautiful thing. Here's those same tabs. And it has view source here. Again, this is where I got all the source from. It's pretty similar, except I, uh, you know, going to separate it out. This is going to be in a script, a separate script file. And here's the HTML that is needed. One other thing, they have jQuery UI themes. And as you can see here in the gallery, the demo was in this start. So here's what it looks like. And that's what we're going to put in to a page template on a WordPress child theme. And again, here's you can copy the CDN values. So let's go ahead and, and get this cranking. I'm going to just click that back to the dashboard. Let's bring up our editor. And the first thing that I do with the child theme is create its directory. So we go into WP content, themes. Here's the default themes, 2011 and 2012, that are installed. I'm going to go ahead and create a folder for the child theme. And I call this demo tabs theme. Now I have a folder. I'm also going to create a subfolder for the JavaScript. So let's create a folder under here, and I'm just going to call it JS for JavaScript. And now we have our folder structure under themes, demo tabs theme, and JS. And when you do a child theme, it does uh, have a picture in there. So I have a little screenshot here. And the whole key of this thing is that it needs to be named uh, screenshot. So I'm just going to rename that guy. So let's rename it to screen whoop, shot .p .png. And if it's named that, it'll bring that picture into the dashboard. So just a pretty little picture. Uh, it is optional. You don't have to do it. I just like to do it part of the game. So we copied in that picture. Now let's go ahead and create our files. The first file is, and the only required file for a child theme is the style sheet. So let's create a new PHP file. We'll call it, whoop, not a PHP file. Let me cancel that. We need a CSS file, and this will be style.css. I don't need any template or anything. I just want a blank. I'm going to copy in the what we need, and what we need here it is. Let me copy that in, and the important thing is the theme name. And I'm calling it Demo Tabs Theme. And again, this is the comment block. Go to the codex if you have any questions on child theme. And you have to specify what the parent theme is. 
and then I'm doing two imports. And this one is the parent theme 2012 style sheet. And here's that jQuery from the CDN for the theme. And I'm using the start theme. So there's our style.css. That's the first file that we need. And we're already doing two imports and a comment block. So, so far, pretty simple. The next thing that we need is, oh, let me go ahead and save that. The next thing that we need is the functions.php. And this is to bring in all of the, the jQuery and JavaScript that we want. So I'll create a new PHP file. And we're going to, and it has to be called functions.php. And I don't need any of the default values in there because I'm going to copy it in. So here's functions.php. Let me copy that data. And here's the code that we need. And basically we're doing our script statements WordPress style. So our first thing is if anything else was registered for jQuery, we're going to deregister it. And then we enqueued script and notice that it registers and enqueues that script if it's not registered. So here's that statement from the CDN and that brings in jQuery. Then I do it again, enqueue script for the jQuery UI. And this is from the jQuery UI, that CDN link at the bottom of the jQuery.com page. And I'm also using this third argument, which is array jQuery that says jQuery must be uh, enqueued prior to jQuery UI. So it's basically saying this one is required. And I'm also loading my own script, placing it in this JS subdirectory. We haven't created it yet, but we will shortly. And I'm going to call it demo tab script.js. And again, jQuery needs to exist. And finally, so there's the function. And then we also have this add action. And I give it a name uh, or when WordPress and Q scripts go ahead and execute my function here, demo tab script loader, which is right here, this function, go ahead and execute that while scripts are being entered. And that's the whole purpose of an add action. And all we're doing inside here is loading jQuery or deregistering jQuery, loading jQuery, loading jQuery UI, and loading my own individual script at a specific point or when a certain event happens. So that's functions.php. The next file that we need is the page template to place this into. So I create another PHP file and I'm going to call this demo tabs page.php. And again, don't need any default values. Just give me a blank PHP file. And here's the code we need. And we give it a template name. So this is what will show up in the dashboard, demo tabs page. And then we have, here's the HTML. And this is that HTML right from the view source of the demo on the jQuery UI site. But basically we have uh, three uh, list elements, one, two, and three, pointing to these three areas with just some paragraphs under there. And again, you can get more complex and put in various other things on each of these tabs to make it pretty. But step one, you got to get your tabs out there before you start getting fancy and you can create additional ones. No reason you need to have just three tabs, but this gets it out there. And for this WordPress page, using the standard get header and get footer uh, commands from within WordPress. So save that. So there's three out of the four files that we need to create. And the final one is this JavaScript, our individual JavaScript that's going to actually turn on the tabs or activate them. So let's create inside the JavaScript subdirectory, a new, and in a Eclipse, it's other, JavaScript source file. And I'm going to call it demo tabs script.js, because that's what I call it. 
in here. Demo tab script.js. Okay, demo tab script.js. Let's get the code for this guy. And again, this is right from the jQuery UI site. Very simple. We're basically using this selector, demo tabs class, and using the tabs method from the jQuery UI. So thank you very much. I mean, it's a nice feature. So if I go back to this demo tabs page, you'll see that my uh, container div here is demo tabs class matching demo tabs class selector in my document ready function. So all files are in place and we're ready for our next step, which will be to go ahead and go into our dashboard and let's activate it. But just a final thing here. So we created four items, right? And I put the screenshot in there. So in WP content themes, demo tabs theme. Now let me just open this up too so we can see that. So there's our script. Here's a couple PHP and the style.css. And that's these four files. It's all saved. Let's go to our, our dashboard. And step one, let's activate our child theme. So when I go to themes, ah, here, and this is just that .png thing. No big whoop de doo It just needs to be called screenshot.png. All I did was put some text out there. And let's go ahead and activate that child theme. And I activated the child theme, and since we import the parents style sheet, if I refresh this page on this site, you see nothing happened because it's it's basically the same using the same style sheet and everything, and we didn't activate anything. So let's go ahead and create a new page, and I'm going to call this my demo tabs during video page and over here under templates we have demo tabs page which is what we called it in the demo pad tabs page on the uh, file and let's just got to bring that up again anyways sorry to delay but if we look at that that's this demo page tabs here under template name says bring it up under okay so that's all we need there that says bring it up in this box here and i select that demo tabs page gave it a title hit publish and now if we go back to the site notice that we just have the home and sample page standard clean install now i refresh that site i have this demo tabs during video page i click on that page and here's our tabs. That easy, that simple. And since this is all loaded, we could all oh, we, we could have just put it into a post. So if I go to posts on a clean install, I guess I could have just gone to add new. If I go to add a new post here and I do tabs in a post and Let's, let's just stick those guys in there. So if I just grab the HTML portion and copy in the HTML portion, as long as I'm in text here, which is the HTML version, right? I can stick this right into a post. Go ahead, publish away. And we have... Let's refresh the site, and we see here's that tabs in a post post now, and it's got the tabs in there, nice and simple. The issue is working in this WYSIWYG editor versus working in a nice, pretty IDE or even any kind of editor that has nice syntax highlighting. I just find it easier, so choice is up to you. Anyway. You can go either way. So now that is putting jQuery UI tabs in a WordPress child theme. This is Dave. Thank you very much for watching. And the 
Details and a post will be available at DaveCoast.com.